This is Raymond with Vaping360, hanging out with Kyle, who has a lot of awesome products from Limitless to tell you about. Let's start with the Atomizer. What's going on under the hood? Oh man, we got a lot of great things. We just launched our new uh, Limitless Atomizer. We got uh, the new color changing Addy that, that just came out about a week ago, and we basically completely sold out in a day. Something that the industry's never seen before. So we have our newest color that we just launched. Um, so we've got the uh, color changing. As you can see at uh, room temperature, it's like uh, pretty much black. But if, when you apply some heat or do uh, put your atomizer on it, start firing it up. As you can see, it'll change. So it'll pop real bright colors. So we had our green, we had our red. And so the zombie green is the bandana print. So when you fire that up, it goes from a black bandana print. So it'll shine nice and bright green, neon green. And then the red is a, is a black red with the bandana print. And once you fire that up, it turns to a nice popping red. Wow. So we're really excited about that. And uh, we got a lot of different colors we want to launch. Uh, a lot of secret ideas that are going to come out and try to stay ahead of the game. Now, the outside of the atomizer is very cool, but inside is very cool as well. The positive pose, can you talk about how that works so you could take it apart and everything? Yeah, absolutely. So the, the positive pose unscrews from the bottom, and uh, we did a little something different than like most people. So safety is a big concern for ours in the industry. So a lot of people will have a pin that the positive pin is real close to the outside of the 510. And if we're using on a hybrid, that's real dangerous. And yeah. if, if you short that out, that's what you're seeing a lot of these mods vent out and it's really dangerous. So we took an extra step in our precaution. We actually put basically a plastic washer in between the, the copper positive pin and the 510. So that screws up inside. And then the uh, positive post is actually square inside of a square insulator. So no matter how hard you crank, it's never gonna spin. Then we did a nice big size hole right in the middle so you can get a nice big Clapton coil, anything you want. Then the negative has a big giant hole, same thing, but we also did... They're angled, right? Yeah, 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 so it's milled into the deck, but it's kind of a rounded shape, so you get easy easy access to build. And we did an undercut, so that way a lot of people... We did a lot of research before, and people like to put cotton underneath on the right. negative post, so when they're doing certain tricks, it, it soaks up that, that juice. So we listened to the consumers, so we want to do something that fits not only cloud chasers, but also flavor enthusiasts and tricksters. And then we took the cap, and what we did is that as you can see on here, the the whole the the air hole is right at the top. So what that does is it gives you top ventilation. But the way we did it, it's limitless, so you can turn it upside down. Oh. And there's three holes down there, so you can get a reduced airflow. So then you can widen it, widen it all the way up to three airflow. You can turn it down to two, turn it down for one. So for those that people like a lot of good flavor and you want less airflow, you could crank it down a lot. So we we try to meet every certain demand. Oh from tricksters, cloud chasers, to flavor chasers. But the, your solution is, it just seems so smart. Like, why hasn't someone thought of this before? It just comes to whoever comes up with the idea first and put it into action. So we try, we even come up with this idea for a while and we finally put it into action. And uh, we're proud of it and uh, we're excited for a lot of the other things that we're gonna do to it. Now, last question about the color changing. Was it inspired by Zartan from the G.I. Joe cartoon at all? No, uh, no, it's just something that we do a lot of research and. Uh, when you look at motorcycles and cars, we've seen some of the things that go on and we see what's very innovative and how we can apply it to vaping. We saw some of those ideas and realized, hey, we can apply that to our Addy and realize that you can use the heat. And there's also a different, different paint that also, when it's cooled down, it'll change a different color. So we got a lot of different things in the plants to, when it comes to heating up and cooling down to change the colors. So. I will believe that, that is the truth, but I'm gonna to stick to the Zartan story because <laughs> it's funnier. But if you wanna learn more about the Limitless Atomizer and keep up with the company's future products, hit up the Vapor Hub website, and for the best vaping reviews, features, and guides, go to Vaping 360, the home of vaping.